Welcome to Maker Moment with Christina, Carolina, Alex, and Camila. Today, we will show you how to make materials so you can have your very own spa day at home. We will make a face mask, body scrub, but first, we will start with bath bombs! To make your bath bomb, you will need baking soda, which will help reduce skin irritation and itching. You will also need citric acid, which when combined with the baking soda, produces the fizzy, bubbly mixture bath bombs are known for. Also, you will add cornstarch, which helps harden the bath bomb and keep it from exploding and fizzing right away. Next, you will need Epsom salt. The theory is that it helps relax muscles and stiff joints, but this hasn't been proven. Coconut oil helps keep your skin hydrated, and after melting it, it will once again solidify, which will help harden your bath bomb. Adding essential oils can make your experience even more luxurious. These come in a variety of scents and have wonderful benefits for your health. To add color to your bath bombs, use water-based colorants. Other dyes may stain your tub and even your skin. Okay, now that you have gathered all of your ingredients, you're ready to begin. First, you will combine all of your dry ingredients. Add two cups of baking soda, one cup of citric acid, a quarter cup of cornstarch, and a quarter cup of the Epsom salt. Then mix all of those dry ingredients together with your whisk until they're fully blended. All right, now that you have mixed all of your dry ingredients, you are ready to move on to your wet ingredients. Measure out a quarter cup of the coconut oil. You will need to melt this in the microwave for 30 seconds. Be careful when you remove it from the microwave as it can be pretty hot. You may need an adult to help you. If your coconut oil is not fully melted, pop it in the microwave for another five to 10 seconds. Next, choose the essential oil scent you will want for your bath bomb. We chose the calming scent of lavender. Then, add a few drops to the coconut oil. Now, you are ready to combine your wet and dry ingredients. But be careful, only pour in a bit of the oil at a time. Then, quickly mix with a whisk, your hands, a food processor, or a stand mixer. Remember, only add in a small amount of oil at a time. In the end, you want your mixture to feel like wet sand. You will know the mixture is just right when you can form a ball of it in your hands and drop it back into the bowl without crumbling. If your mix is too dry, add a small amount of water, little bits at a time. If your mixture starts fizzing, you've gone too far. If you want to add color to your bath bombs, separate your mixture into different bowls. Choose the color that you want and add a few drops at a time. Mix your colors in well and then keep adding drops and mixing well until you get the shade you want. And then just repeat if you want another color. Now let the fun begin. Choose the mold you want. Fill it with the mixture, lightly pressing down into the mold. Overfill each half slightly. Then press the two halves together. If you want to make multicolored bombs, just switch the colors you add into your molds 
alternating colors. Remember, wait 24 to 48 hours and let the bath bomb set before using them. And now our bath bombs are ready, so let's check them out. For this scrub, you will need brown sugar, which helps moisturize and exfoliate dry skin. You will also need coconut oil, which is great for moisturizing your skin. And last, you will need vanilla extract, which smells great and helps to heal damaged skin. To make this scrub, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract to a large bowl, then half a cup of melted coconut oil, and then mix all those together before you add the sugar. Then go ahead and put in your brown sugar and mix those together well. Once the coconut oil re-solidifies, you'll have an awesome sugar body scrub. To make your face mask, you will need an avocado, which is great for moisturizing, decreases your oil levels, and soothes your acne, and even prevents wrinkles. You will also need a banana, which helps hydrate your skin, promotes glowy complexion, and destroys acne-causing bacteria. Next, you will need honey. This also moisturizes your skin, helps to reduce acne, and soothe sensitive skin. And last, you will need some olive oil, which helps to moisturize and smooth your skin. First, you will take half an avocado and scoop it out into a large bowl. Then take a very ripe banana and cut it in half. Next, take the half and peel it. Then cut it into small pieces and add to your bowl. Then take your fork and mash the avocado and the bananas together. If you want this to be a faster process, you can also use a food processor. Then add one tablespoon of olive oil and one tablespoon of honey. Mix that all together until everything is combined. And then you will have a wonderful, nourishing face mask. Hope you had a fun and relaxing spa day. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye.